checking indexing heads or tables, we would normally use an electronic autocollimator, like the Ultra Autocollimator from Taylor Hobson, as shown here. In addition, a polygon is required. This is a multifaceted mirror, normally with 8 sides or maybe 12 sides, although we have seen up to 72 sides. Normally, we would use the polygon horizontally, although vertical use is also possible. The setting up of the autocollimator is made much easier by using the laser setting aid provided as standard with the autocollimator. The polygon has a bore in its centre to allow it to be clamped to the rotary axis or table. To set the autocollimator correctly to the polygon and the rotary axis, first we must level. This can be done using a square block. Rotate the square through 180 degrees. Observe the y-axis readings and readjust to zero by tilting the autocollimator through half of the error and tilting the table or polygon through the other half. Either use a simple levelling table for the polygon or use some shims, for example, cigarette paper. The y-axis or pyramidal error should be less than 10 seconds. The next thing to check is the autocollimator tracking. This is the orientation of the autocollimator axis to the polygon rotation. In essence, if the tracking is correct, as the polygon is rotated, only the direction of the travel readings, that's the x-axis, should change. That means as the polygon is rotated, no y-axis movement should be seen. Taylor Hobson has a suite of software included and loaded with the Ultra Autocollimator for checking polygons and rotary axes. Taylor Hobson autocollimator products have been used for many years for checking indexing heads and rotary axes. If you need any further details, please don't hesitate to contact us at Spectrometrology or Taylor Hobson.